I started best practice, I think when I was 27. Um, I started the business when I was 27, I'm now 45. Um, I wish I had waited till I was 35. Um, I should have actually worked for more people before starting my business. I am unemployable, um, but I think that I would have learned a lot more a lot faster um, because I'm kind of switched on and I like to watch how people do things and I work really well in the master and apprentice process. Uh, so that's one thing. Um, there is, there's science and statistics out now that say you're more likely to succeed starting your own business if you start when you're 40 than if you start when you're 30 or if you start when you're 20. That's data from the Small Business Administration in the United States on uh, entrepreneurs and startups. Um, number two is I didn't value professional development uh, as much as I do now. Um, I do read a lot of books. I read a lot of books when I was employed. Then I started my business, I kind of stopped and I waited till I was traveling and kind of going to the airport. Um, you know, maybe one in 10 flights, I would kind of go to the bookstore at the airport, go to the business section and buy a business book when I should have been going to um, you know, a business, you know, a bookstore and going to the business section once a week. So I, I think that now, you know, in the time, from when I started the business, there was no internet. Um, there was dial-up internet, no websites, people didn't have websites, you know, there was no Googling to find information, it was kind of the only place you could kind of go to get good stuff was in books and I kind of just learnt by experience. So I kind of haven't grown as fast as I would have liked to or I could have. We're growing much, much faster now, um, achieving huge goals, doing great things. You know, we're really passionate about helping people and, and I, think that, um, I think that if you get book recommendations, um, for $30, I think you should be overspending on purchasing books and reading books. Um, uh, despite, I know everybody loves listening to audio books um, and that is a common comment. Oh, you know, I'm, I kind of prefer audio books. The learning pyramid says that lecturing or being lectured to is a fairly ineffective adult education style, even though we like it. Um, the reason why we like listening to audiobooks and listening to podcasts is because they make us feel good because we're listening to energy. We're listening to someone's vocal cords vibrating using positive tones and those positive tones make us feel good. That's why we like listening to podcasts and audiobooks. But in terms of actually measuring effective learning that allows you to implement, reading a book, writing in it, making notes, writing a to-do list, and executing on your to-do list, you're more effective in implementing and you'll get more benefits. So you get more benefits, career benefits from reading uh, than you do from listening. And so I want you guys to kind of take that principle away that the more you can kind of read and write lists and execute, then you will get your goals more easily and efficiently in your career. Um, so that's something that has been really important to me and you can see this library behind me. My library is huge. Um, I'm purchasing, you know, it kind of goes in bursts, but I'd purchase probably between five and ten business books every single week and it's relentless. The team knows, like, there are couriers, delivery drivers coming in this office every couple of hours every single day of the week delivering parcels of books. Um, and I'm just madly consuming them all and I'm implementing um, and I'm getting kind of I'm, I'm being told by the authors of these books the mistakes to avoid. I'm being told by the authors of these books the most efficient ways to implement. So I think getting someone to follow, you know, kind of following even what I'm doing, uh, you know, on social media, follow closely and implement. Focus on implementation, I think, and implementing advice. Um, I think that's, you know, I kind of was ignorant to listening to advice and I was, you know, young and dumb and not listening to my mentors and not implementing what my mentors suggested. Even though I said I was, I kind of wasn't and I wasn't implementing to the extent that I am now um, and, and, and things are seriously changing for us really, really quickly, which is in a good way. We're achieving our goals more efficiently.